Hello Aries, happy birthday to my Aries babies. It is your season now and thank God for that because you're starting us on a new year, <laughs> a new zodiac year and that is why we're here. So happy birthday to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. If you're returning Aries, thank you and welcome to another reading. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. Thank you for watching this reading. Let's see what the new year has for you, Aries. We are in this new season. I just saw the action card. It's like, that's kind of how I feel. Now we're in Aries season of action. Let's go, let's move. <laughs> and I love it. So let's see. Aries overall energy, please. The overall energy for my Aries. Aries, 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 Aries. The thinking woman. Have you been thinking about what you want to create this year, Aries? How you want your life to look like next year at this time? By your next birthday? Maybe you're turning 47 this year. Anyway, you have been through a lot of healing. You've been through some transformation. Going into this new year, you're coming out a new woman, new man. This is green, and that always speaks to me about heart chakra healing. We also have a butterfly. So for those of you who have had a personal reading from me, you always hear me say when this card comes out, you've gone through a lot of healing. You've gone through some transformation. You've been thinking about your boundaries. You've been thinking about your worth, rebuilding that self-worth, rebuilding that value. This can also be... Um, the thinking woman, she's intelligent, she's logical, she's, she could be a teacher. This is a seeker of truth, a seeker of knowledge, a lawyer, a teacher, a um, someone who uses their logic, right? But for me, it is just highlighting that you've probably been through a lot of healing, you've been through a transformation, you're kind of an up You've been, you're an up-leveled version of what you were before. You've been through some challenges and you've been maybe thinking about all the things that you want to, want to create, want to manifest. Your boundaries, thinking about your boundaries. What are you willing to allow in your life that you weren't allowed? What are you willing to allow in your life now as opposed to before? You set good boundaries for yourself. Don't accept less for yourself anymore. Looks like you've been healing from some hostilities in, in the past. All that green on that card always speaks to me about healing, especially with the butterfly. So it's more to me as a reader, it's more than it's more a healing card than a thinking card. But she is a thinker. She is a researcher. She knows her truth. She knows that she knows that she knows what is true. And that's what's true, <laughs> you know? And you know, Aries, you're, you're kind of, you're like that. So you know your truth. And you are willing to stand up for your truth and be passionate about your truth, right? But looks like you've healed from a lot in the past. You've healed from a lot, maybe some betrayal lies, cheating, stealing, hostile energy, people coming against you, really dealing with challenges. It looks like you've come out of a big, big time of healing. So let me know if that resonates for you, Aries, okay? I have a card that wants to pop out here. So it's the indecision card. So I don't know if you've gone through a lot of healing from people who, maybe you're still looking at the past, Aries. It's dead and gone. We're in a new year. We're in all this new energy. You literally started us in this new beginning. So maybe the choices that you've been making don't line up with your truth. And maybe you needed to come here and see this today and think about your truth. And what I was saying before, boundaries, what you're allowing into your life and what you've allowed into your life before, how how do the things, people, places, things around you line up with your truth, your core truth? Do they line up? Are they in alignment? Because you might be looking at something from your past that is no longer in alignment with your truth and you might be needing to let go. And that could be why you're in this indecision because both, it looks to me, 
like both choices. First of all, this person is looking at something that's dead, something that's in the past, something that you're supposed to be letting go of because it doesn't line up with your truth. But the options that they have here, they're both dead too. So are you looking at the past, Aries? And you need to look at your truth and what you're allowing into your life and making that choice for you. This person is looking towards something that's dead. Either option here is dead. But if they look at their inside, there's life there. There's truth there. There's peace there. There's wisdom there. That may be a side note for some of you. Follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. Your intuition is always right. And if you are trying to make a decision, for me, I feel like if you're trying to make a decision, both options don't look good to me as a reader. They look like there's something that you're choosing the same kind of a repetitive pattern that you've left in the past. And now it's time to start choosing something different, you know? And Archangel Uriel is the angel of epiphany and they can help you have a different perspective and epiphany about a better way. But we also have the sun. Oh my gosh. And we have, so we have the crown chakra and we have your third eye chakra. There's a lot of intuition here. So pay attention to your intuition, your dreams. You may be receiving dreams, messages in your dreams. Pay attention to your intuition, okay? Because it feels to me, Aries, that you might be looking the past and look this is what is actually for you the sun coming out this is you experiencing new life new life in every way the sun is happiness the sun is warmth the sun is this sun this card is a brand new beginning look it's a number one don't look at the past anymore Aries and those choices that you made in the past really get clear about the boundaries that you want to set for yourself and choosing better and not choosing the same kind of repetitive patterns or going back to a toxic situation or something that resembles a toxic situation that you used to, you know, be um, connected to, but really choosing something new, something brand new that's like you've never had this before. It's something so much different and so much happier and so much more free and fun this is new life blossoming. This is the sun coming out. This is your epiphany. I was just saying about Archangel Uriel's, the angel of epiphanies. The sun coming out is your epiphany. Wow, I feel like I'm talking to somebody specific here. The sun wants to shine for you, Aries. I love this for you. I love this for you. Let's see what you can expect for this year, Aries. If you choose something new, I bet we're going to see something great here. Aries, what can Aries expect for this year? This new year for Aries. We have the Ten of Wands. It's time to let the past go. It's time to let the baggage go. You got heavy, heavy baggage here. You've been on a heavy, heavy trip, a journey, rocky, hard, challenging, burden, stress, heaviness. It's time to put it down. You got the castle here. It's time to put it down. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> okay, first of all, you have two tens here. This is, you're ready for this new beginning. You are ready. You are so ready, Aries. You're ready for the sun to come out. You are a fire sign. You're connected to the sun. It's time for your new beginning. It's time to put down the burdens and go for the new adventure. And you have the wheel of freaking fortune. Are you kidding me? How perfect for you. It is your birthday season. It is a new year. 
new zodiac year. This is brand new beginning. This is change. If you have felt like the world was against you, if you have felt like you have not had good luck, you're carrying other people's burdens, you're just heavy. It's heavy. You're tired. You're exhausted. You're stressed. You might have been having some health problems because of it. Everything is changing. Everything is changing. This is the wheel of fortune turning in your favor, changing everything, bringing you good luck, bringing you new beginnings all around. Your sun coming out. This is magical events lining up for you. This is favor. This is you feeling lucky. But it's also the end of this very heavy cycle. You might even be starting a new career. You might be moving to a new location. You might be starting a new project. And you have the victory. This is your year. Look, it says the wheel of the year in this deck, the wheel of fortune, the wheel of the year. Aries, this is your year. Your year of victory after the battle, after a very tough time. You might feel like you have had a lifetime of this, a lifetime of heaviness and struggle and challenge. And Aries, I'm getting chills. Oop. This is your year for the sun, the happiness, the great, great, great happiness that you have been waiting for, longing for, working for. Here it is. Victory, promotion, success. All of it is yours this year, Aries. I'm so glad that I got to see this. I almost waited to do your reading. And I'm so glad that I didn't because this is so beautiful. This is victory after the challenge. This is everything going your way this year. This is you having the lucky girl syndrome. You can literally say what they've been saying in that lucky girl syndrome. You can literally say, everything goes my way. Everything, I am so lucky because everything always goes my way. You can literally say that this year. You are going to experience so much luck, so much new beginning. We've got it all here. We have adventure. We have breakthrough. We have money. We have love. This is the thinking woman here with the sword, thinking, setting good boundaries, thinking about what we want because it's all here. Everything we want, it's all here. Set good boundaries. Don't accept anything less anymore. Don't go back to this. If you have that in that indecision, if it reflects any, if there, whoops. <coughs> Excuse me, Aries. If anything that you're contemplating, a relationship, a job, whatever, if you're if I'm talking to somebody specific, Aries, who is looking at options that just kind of feels familiar, it's time for you to look at something new. There's nothing left for you here. There's nothing. Don't you want this? This could be confirmation. This may be how you came out of last year. Maybe you were in this. And this is confirmation and you're like, yeah, I've already done that. I've already decided to put all that down and go for the new. Good for you. Because it's here for you. No more of this. That's part of the old. The dead. The, the old stuff that can't come with you anymore. It's just not resonating for you anymore. It's dead for a reason, right? So let's put it down, close that chapter, close that cycle, and realize that fortune is in your favor this year. You have victory, you have success in all areas. And it is happening now because that wheel of fortune is now. This is big change and it is now. 
Okay. Wow. Yeah, put it down. Wow. Close the chapter that is dead. Close it. Close it. I feel like I'm talking to an Aries that is still like, maybe you're scared to just finally nail the coffin. Lock the door. A little bit scared, but you have been through way too much. You've got three tens here. This is like the epitome of let's end the chapter and move on. Each 10, one plus zero is one. Each 10 is we're closing this chapter. We're closing this cycle. You've learned all your lessons. Okay, now let's start on the new, new beginning. You have three. That's like three new beginnings. <laughs> You got four of them right here. It's been a very tough time for you, Aries. Betrayals, heaviness, carrying burdens that were not yours to carry, taking care of everything, really feeling that pressure. It's time for the struggle to be over, okay? The wheel is turning in your favor. Let's not choose to go backwards. Let's choose this. One more for my Aries. Let's choose victory. Let's choose success. Let's choose good luck. Yes. And when you do, <laughs> everything happens so fast. I'm telling you, fast change right here. You don't have to worry, Aries. You don't have to worry about what the past, letting it go, locking the door. You don't have to worry because right on the other side of that is the good luck, good fortune, and wow, something happening very fast. This is change too. This is very fast moving change. This is positive, 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 positive. Everything going a hundred miles an hour forward away from the old. This is all this positive energy happening for you all at once. However this resonates for you, if this is love, if this is money, success, recognition, promotion, whatever it is that you might be choosing, maybe it's a relationship and it feels toxic, like there's, there's something about it that feels familiar, like something that you've dealt with in the past, lock the door on that. Lock it because you have something new here. You have something new that's going to spark new life for you. That's going to ignite passion for you. There's chemistry. There's attraction. There's maybe some travel. This is success. This is you going from zero to a hundred in success, in happiness, in positive energy, positive stuff happening for you. And if it's love, you know, we've got a lot a very successful energy here change happening like that it's going to take you in a totally new direction it could be at a distance from you you could be doing some traveling Aries this is so much success this year this is your year but whatever you are holding on to whatever you are holding on to from the past drop it drop it right in the middle of that ocean okay that lake that water whatever it is Look at it, it's confusing for you. It's out of balance. You're not really happy. There's confusion. There's, there's uncertainty. There's just this out of balance feeling. Okay. Drop it right in the water and let's choose success. Let's choose the sun. Let's choose happiness. Let's choose joy. Let's choose bliss. It's right there for you, Aries. It's right there. I have this new deck that I want to get some cards from. It's called Manifesting Your Greatness from my friend Amy Chase. You can find her on my Instagram if you are at all interested. But I want to just get a couple of cards to finish off your reading. They're cute. They're fun. And they have fun little messages. Whoa. makes me want to cry. Believe you are magic. You, Aries, are magic and you deserve the sun. Forgive the past. There's a lot of green on here, some heart healing. Let go of the burden. Forgive. Forgive. Set yourself free. 
you might need to forgive yourself too, and that's okay. Forgiving sets you free. It's not for the other person. It's to set you free so that you can have your new beginning. Look at all of this new beginnings. We got a one here. We've got three tens, which are all three ones. We got all four aces here. We have four ones. Remember I was saying there's four of them in this card. All four aces. Well, look, I didn't even realize that we had one sitting right here. Here's a ten. There's a one. Ten, ten. The ten becomes a one. It's time for your new beginning. It's time for your good luck. So forgive yourself or anyone else to set you free for this new beginning. Okay? Believe you are magic. And then we have find a little divinity in yourself. Believe you're magic. Believe in your good luck. Believe in yourself. It's your time. It's your time to shine like the sun. It's your time to bask in happiness. Oh my gosh, Aries, I want to give you a big hug. I love you guys. Happy birthday. Have a wonderful year. Choose the sun. I'll see you in the next reading, Aries.